Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Binding of Isaac. Today, I'm gonna let Random dictate my life, and it's gonna be Eve, which is actually maybe the character I was gonna pick anyway. So I'm totally cool with that. Eve is a bit tougher than the uh, average character. She has a 0.75 times damage multiplier, making things pretty tough, because, of course, she has 25% less damage. That's not that amazing. But she has a pretty decent starting item toward Babylon if you get down to half a red heart. Then you get extra damage and speed. That damage is a little bit variable. It's when it's first activated, it's a bit more. I don't remember how much exactly. It's 1.5 times uh, 1.2 squared. The 1.2 is squared, not the 1.5. And uh, she also has, when it activates that is, and after that it's just 1.5. Okay, she also has a extra 1 16th chance to get a soul heart drop instead of a red heart drop that's non-specific. And Mom's Pearl is also another 10% chance. These are consecutive chances rather than um, additive chances, by the way. And lastly, the dead bird. So that when you get hit, you spawn that thing and it attack stuff for two damage per hit, but it's still something. So I'll just take this whole heart immediately, it's not a big deal. So far this run, however, not not anything special. Celtic Cross is a 30% chance. When hit that you get about seven seconds of invincibility. It's not exactly seven seconds, but it's about seconds seven seconds. Apparently I can't speak right now. Which is alright, I suppose. This is the monstro that can't jump high in the air, it can normal jump, but it can't jump high in the air, which is the important part, it's a lot easier to deal with. I don't know if it actually has more health, it might, but we also just have a lot less damage, so that might be why this is going slowly as well. So we'll see what this first item from the first boss is, and probably just continue anyway, I mean I can't imagine I'm going to reset, unless it's a shot speed up. I'll reset over a shot speed up, because we don't have anything particularly good right now. So I'm, I'm totally fine giving up this run, but I'm also fine continuing it. All we need is something that doesn't suck in any way. And then we'll just be on with our lives. Eve is a little bit faster than your average Isaac, which is unfortunate, but not a huge deal. So range up is okay, I'm willing to continue with that. And we'll just go straight to the next floor since we don't have any bombs or anything. Curse of Darkness disallows us from seeing the map, which kind of sucks, but also isn't a big deal since it's the second floor and that's not very big. It is the cellar rather than the basement, which, again, it's the second floor. It's not that much more difficult than your average basement two floor, so I'm not worried about that either. Which is cool. Alright, I'm not going to go into the curse room yet. I'm, I'm ultimately going to go into the curse room, but what I want to do is fight the boss first. Unless I already take red heart damage by the time I uh, get to the boss, then I'm just going to go straight into the curse room because I want to avoid taking red heart damage on the floor, which turns out does affect your devil room chance. And I haven't played any other runs in this playing session, so it's totally possible that, uh, or it's totally impossible that we get an angel room right away on this floor instead of having to get a devil room first. And yes, there's TNT up here. It doesn't do anything. It's just a graphical glitch. No worries about it. Uh, what, what do we have? We have, I mean, nothing out of the ordinary. There's a boss challenge room that I'd totally love to, be, to visit, but I don't have any way of getting there. Unless there's a blood donation machine just chilling. We can't get an arcade right now since we happen not to uh, have had five cents when we entered this floor. So there's that that means, well, sucks. No way to get down to one red heart without taking a bunch of damage. That's why you shoot the fires. Bobby bomb, homing bombs, so our bombs home in on enemies. And we get five bombs, which is pretty nice. I'm cool with that. So, so far, so, I don't know. Okay, this could be the secret room, and I want it to be because it's right next to the boss challenge room. So we can just bomb our way into the boss challenge room, see if it's an item we want, and if it's not, it's out of the pool for the bosses, and that's excellent. It's a speed up, and we don't want that at all because speed up isn't really a benefit in any way. Some people like it more, but it's totally not a benefit over Isaac's base speed, approximately. So, eh, I think it's more of a detriment. Some people don't. I can work with it if I have to, but there's no reason I should have to, so I just don't. Duke of Flies, totally annoying just due to having super low damage, so I'm actually gonna use some bombs. 
It only takes one to cripple its health, and then we're going to have an easy time here. So I'm just going to finish this off with tears. Two soul hearts. Our base chance of, like, higher chance of getting soul hearts, is, as well as Mom's Pearl, are really doing wonders right now. So we get health up and a devil room. This is exactly what I wanted to see. We were guaranteed that devil room. And... You've got, I mean, neither of these items are really worth it right now. I'm going to blow up the rock behind the devil statue. Because it would be amusing to me if it were a tinted rock, but it's not. And I'm really thinking that I want to go Guppy's Tail because I like Guppy's Tail. Mostly because it's one third of the way to becoming Guppy. And uh, it's actually kind of detrimental in a few ways. Because it's going to decrease our average drops, but it's going to increase our, increase our chest and golden chest drops. Which can be good, but it also could be totally terrible. Because if I'm not getting keys, then I'm not getting much that I can do about anything. Still, I wanted to have another guppy item in that curse room. But since we've taken a deal with the devil, we won't get angel rooms for this entire run. Which is fine. I can deal with that. I hope to become guppy. That would be quite nice. Curse the Lost simply increases the size of the floor by four rooms. And if we get a bunch of regular chests, not golden chests that contain keys, then it's actually better than getting just keys, for example, since uh, we have that increased. There, there's not going to just be one key in a chest. I don't think that one key is actually a possibility. I think that if you have a key as one of your drops from a chest, you have to have multiple drops, but I, I can't recall with like 100% certainty, but I'm pretty sure about that one. Oh, I thought I'd make it. I really did. I was like, alright, we're gonna kill it in time. We didn't. That just did not happen. So we got another bomb, and that's totally good. We have enough keys to get to the item room if ever we find it. I love rooms like this one because there's just a really good chance that there's gonna be a tinted rock. Because the way tinted rocks work is that there are like 91 tiles in the room, in each room, and each one has a chance of being this magic tile. There can only be one per room. Magic tile. And if a rock is on that magic tile, that is a tinted rock. That's how it works. So rooms with lots of rocks have a pretty good chance, and I thus like rooms with lots of rocks. So that's all there is to it. That's all there is to it. And I hope that in Rebirth, there's an item that increases the amount of magic tiles by maybe just one, maybe not. Just something like that. I would like it. Extra soul heart is excellent. Eventually, they will die. And since we found the boss... Oh, I can't remember. Well, let's go to the shop. Bum friend. I don't want that, but I will buy the soul heart. Now we don't have a key to go to the item room, which was the concern I had mostly. Another soul heart. And again, why you shoot fires. My face is really itchy right now. And our boss is the Blighted Oven. That's actually one of the easier bosses that we could be fighting right now. So that's totally good with me. Okay, just... No! Okay, as long as we got the Tinted Rock. And that was totally my bad as far as dodging was concerned. That was such an easy thing to avoid. And it was totally my fault that I did it. So all you have to do with this boss is just run in circles. Or ovals. Ellipses, if you prefer to be the most possibly correct that you can ever hope to be. Okay, one of each type of drop from the box. I don't really want that particular uh, bloody penny. I want another one, no. A uh, bloody penny is a 50% chance. When you take... Uh, when you get a coin, any coin, it's a 50% chance that a half-red heart drops next to it. That's a specific heart drop, so it's not affected by other stuff. So we're going to get really meta here and use Guppy's Paw once. By the way, that's two-thirds of the way to becoming Guppy. That turns Red Heart into three Soul Hearts. And then we're going to use this in hopes that it was a health up, which was being I was being safe with that because um, if it were a health down, by having only one heart, it would have become a health up, and that would have been pretty nice. The pill being bombs or key is actually totally okay, though, because now I actually have some keys. So I can worry about the item room, or less. I can worry less about the key situation and worry about what's in it. And uh, it's good. So now the concern is that I only have one red heart and the two remaining guppy items both cost two red hearts. And the problem with that is that I'd lose all of my soul hearts if I took either of them. Regardless, maybe I'll just find one. 
If there's a curse room on this floor, that'd be great. Kane's eye is a 25% chance when we enter a floor that we uh, get a compass effect for the entire floor. It's not, it's not that good because it rarely activates mostly. And the Joker card will teleport us directly to a devil room. So that's pretty cool. All right, I hate keepers, and with as low damage as we have, they're they're even more terrible. So the funny thing is, I actually don't want to teleport to the Devil Room immediately on the next floor. Although, by the way, I probably won't earn one again on the next floor. It was kind of surprising that I earned one on this floor, since uh, the chance was 25% of whatever the total chance was before any other calculations. No red hard damage on the floor, of course, uh, adds 99%, making our chance 100 base. No red hard damage on the boss adds another 35, making it 135%. But we got a double room on the last floor, so it's only a quarter of that, which is like 34%. Just under 34%. So, yeah, that's, that's all there is to that. And it was surprising-ish. It wasn't unlikely, but it was surprising-ish to get one again. And it's going to be that same 34-ish percent chance next time. Next floor. Next floor is also the first floor where we can get uh, greed in the shop. Which may come into play since uh, I may have, I should have 15 cents by then. In order to hopefully, oh my god, I hate bee lickers. Uh, to hopefully buy something good, or if not, well, I guess we'll fight greed and hopefully that'll turn into something good instead. There's our 15 cent, oh my god. I hate Eternal Flies. I See, even though it's totally worth it to shoot the Eternal Fly poops, I avoid it purely because of the Eternal Flies themselves. They have so much health when you free them from their poopy prisons. Yeah, I just said that. Okay, this room is, like, so bad. So no longer do I have 15 cents, but Dead Bird hopefully will do, like, all of my work approximately. Because the less I have to do in a room like this, the better. Oh, Celtic Cross, save me. Yeah, rooms like this on Eve base damage are just pure torture. And they're the reason that I'm really glad I have a ton of soul hearts. Yep. Okay, that wasn't worth it, but I couldn't have known that. Mulligan is kind of like a weaker guppy, but still really good because we need damage right now. What it's going to do for us is it's going to give us, every time we hit a shot, one-sixth chance to spawn a kamikaze fly, and that'll do twice our damage. So, essentially, I believe a bunch of commenters did the math last time I said this, wondering how much of a total damage up it sort of evened out to, and they said it was about a 33% damage up. Chance. It's chance-based, though. So it's not guaranteed to be that much. You could never spawn a fly, or you could spawn a fly every single hit, both of which require a staggering amount of luck in a positive or negative direction, but both are possible, technically. So I guess, oh, look at you dropping a coin. A coin that I need to be able to get to the shop on the next floor. That was a risky decision going in here just because it could have been another keeper room. And keepers are no fun, but it turned out not to be and I'm okay then. Mulligan, by the way, does stack with Guppy, which uh, if we do get Guppy, since it seems relatively likely... That is flight as well as spawning a kamikaze fly every time we get hit or every time we hit a tier So that's a hundred percent spawn rate as well as a one-sixth spawn rate So it's a one-sixth chance to spawn two flies instead of just one Which is pretty cool with me So we got a pretty fly pill which is actually excellent and that will allow us to block enemy tiers and uh, kill fly type enemies or damage fly type enemies. So I'm not going to take the rosary because it's it causes the Bible to be in the shop pool seven times, and that means that we're pretty likely to get it overall. So I, I don't really want any part in that because it's not very good. So here's the thing: like I said, I don't want to use the Joker card immediately, both because I still have a chance to earn the Devil Room, as well as because I hope to get a health up from the boss. I was really hoping for a better item room item though, because now I'm, I'm gonna have to, I'm still on Eve base damage, and that's not okay. We really do need to become Guppy here, after the boss fight. So that's, that's the primary concern. It's totally reasonable too, I mean, it's not uncommon to find a Guppy item 
when there are two of them. I'd prefer it to be Dead Cat. It almost has to be Dead Cat, actually. Because if it isn't Dead Cat, I'm gonna have some issues with imminent doom. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I need it to happen that way. It's not imminent, imminent. Oh, God. This room is stupid and shouldn't be in the game. I'm not even joking, it shouldn't be in the game. It's not as bad as another room. Oh, yep, had to get hit there. Could not possibly avoid it. And there too. Because uh, you pretty much just have to take damage in this room. It's almost unavoidable. It's more avoidable in this room than in another room that is in the game, but neither one should exist. So I'm not really cool with its existence. Oh well, I have no say though, say though for now. Yeah, I just did that. I stuck through there. What are you doing? I know what it's doing, but what is it doing? Why is it doing that? I know the answer. The fly too. Just kind of sucks because it's losing some damage that I really could have used throughout that room. So our soul heart cash is gone. And that's no good, because uh, I kind of need them. And you're thinking, well, you do have three more from Guppy's Paw, but I need that heart, sort of, to take a deal with the devil. As long as we get a health up from this boss, though, we're, we're in shape for taking something. We've seen a bunch of devil room items, so the one we need, Gup or Dead Cat, not the most unlikely. I can totally see it happening. Oh my god, no, 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 no. I don't want to have to pop Guppy's paw, but I'm going to. I'm going to have to. I really need some help, Isaac. Quite badly. Like, quite, quite badly. So, we're going to find the boss, and that's exciting, I guess. We'll probably use bombs relatively liberally in order to do as much damage as possible while taking as little as possible. It really depends on the boss, though. If it's Pestilence, I'm actually going to be sad. Because I need a health up. Health up has to happen. Then we need a Devil Room. Oh, God. Carrion Queen, what have you done? So Carrion Queen is going to suck. A lot. But we'll make the best of a bad situation. No, please. I feel like I spawn flies more when I'm not doing damage, which should not should not be. Okay, Carrion Queen. As long as I spawn some flies, we can actually work with this. You've got to be attacking the back of the Carrion Queen, which is, of course, the source of most of the strife involved with this, because there's no good way to attack, and as more AIDS poop spawns, it gets tougher and tougher to dodge, and just... Pleasant times are not had. Oh, okay, I still haven't taken red heart damage. And by the way, I don't know for sure, but I died. I know that for sure. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure that um, red heart damage on the boss counts as red heart damage on the floor, which means that we would lose like all of our chance there. So I don't even like XL floors for the start with Eve at least. So I just reset there and I took a bunch of damage. Uh, it really sucks that I got hit there. I didn't think I was going to. I was pretty confident I didn't want to use Guppy's Paw, because that was totally possible that it was going to go exactly my way and I was going to become Guppy right there. I wasn't... I was kind of expecting it. So... Oh well. <laughs> Nothing I can do about it now. I'm gonna go to the Curse Room, since it's such a viable option at the moment. It's free, and the Devil Room chance doesn't matter on the first floor, since you can't earn the Devil Room. Okay, what are you going to give me this time? This time, we're going to get Lil Chubby. That's really awesome. It does 3.5 damage, which is Isaac's base damage, but it does it like a million times a second, and it's really awesome. It does lots of lots of damage to things because of that, because of how often it does the damage. So, yeah, yeah just melted pin. No big deal. Oh, darn. Should have shot, little chubby. Good. Another range up to start. That's a little disconcerting because I kind of need some help here. 
It'd be nice if we can have as much luck with soul hearts as we did the first time. That's not a soul heart. I mean, yeah, we had Mom's Pearl, so that's an, another 10% chance, but we still have the 10% chance base and the 16th chance by being Eve. It's not, like, the most unlikely thing to get soul hearts. No reason not to clear the basement, though. Cellar, I guess, in this case. Cellar 1, no big deal. Alright, just a room with no enemies again. There are so many rooms with no enemies in the basement, it's weird. And the cellar, obviously. I'd kind of prefer that not to happen most of the time. Like, I'm here for the drops. That's all I want. No. Okay, there we go. Hey, look! We actually got a soul heart. Oh, that was the top secret room! Why didn't I wait? Oh, darn it. But maybe we'll get a bomb here? No. We're just not going to that top secret room. We're gonna assume that it was the one that was full of red hearts, so that we don't feel bad instead of thinking like, oh, it was probably the one with the, the eternal heart. That would have been great to get, but we missed it, so it's the one that had a bunch of red hearts and was thus useless. That's how it was. It's how it is. Accept it and love it. So let's go on to the next floor and see what we got. What do we got? Cellar 2. Item room immediately, but no keys. Curse room I'd love to visit, but not enough soul hearts to do immediately. No key drop. Curse room does count as red heart damage on the floor, by the way, so that's why I won't visit it right away. I would visit it right away if it didn't count as red heart damage. So, that's all there is to it. Yeah, that's what I expected. Okay, now we can go to the item room. Getting a little chubby in our first item room was pretty nice, but it probably means we won't get something particularly good this time. As if on cue, Necronomicon. Pretty bad. 60 damage to every enemy in the room. Once every six rooms. It's not, yeah, it's not, not much of a good item. Maybe we'll be able to work with it though. I have no use for it on the basement cellar floors, pretty much after taking damage, but really that was just my own impatience. What are you? Luck up. Slightly increased drop rates of items after uh, of like drops after rooms and uh, an increased chance to fire teeth if we get tough love. That's all it does. That's literally all it does. It does nothing else. No, it doesn't do that or that. Doesn't affect this tier effect or that tier effect. Just tough love and just that slight increase in drop rates of stuff after rooms and it's not even big. Luck is a pretty useless stat, if you even want to call it a stat. It's pretty useless. So... Oh, gosh, I need a bomb. Alright, B. Larry Jr., that's the Widow. Wow. Well, let's try and turn this into a no damage here so we can get a Devil Room. The chance... Oh yeah, we can get an angel room now since we did die. And just play another run. Gosh darn it. And then we didn't get one and we got a shot speed up. That's so Isaac. That is so Isaac. Alright, what's in the curse room? Curse room saved me. Chest saved me. Chest did not... Actually, chest did save me, sort of. Can go straight to the um, tinted rock and the eternal heart. That'll be nice. Guppy's paw. Alright. Put me one third of the way to being guppy again, and just straight up give me a better item, because Necronomicon's not a good item. I'm not kidding when I say that. So, this same as it did last time. And just to make sure of this, I'm going to leave the room and re-enter so that the bomb has a larger blast radius. And we get the small rock immediately. I like this run. That's a tears up, a damage up by one, and a .2 speed down, I believe it is. It's really quite good. The speed down is pretty much exactly what I need as Eve, and the, the damage in tears never hurt. So we got remote detonator there, and that's going to give us five bombs basically. Normally, if we kept it, it would allow us to detonate our placed bombs on command, rather than them blowing up on the timer they blow up when we decide they blow up. It's over when I say it's over. But I, you know, don't take it, just... 
I don't take it. I just get it for the bombs. Eternal Heart, we need to keep that in mind. Because it becomes a health up when you get to the next floor, just like the, the one we just picked up did. There we go. Bomb for a bomb. Totally good trade if we're in a worthwhile position where it like, could be next to the secret room. As it stands, it's pretty useless, but that's not to say that it will always be useless. Okay, finding our boss room quickly is nice, but we just took red heart damage on the floor. So we have that... Oh my gosh, yes, the curved horn. That's a plus two damage. I like it. We're into red tiers, which means we're doing more than 5.5 damage. So that's pretty nice. Can we get the devil room here? We took red heart damage on the floor. So the best we can do is 36%, and then we just took damage on the boss, so we have a 1% chance. If we do get a devil room, I will be amazed. Pleased, but straight up amazed. Straight up amazed. So hopefully the game does that to me. It didn't, but we... Oh. Okay, so we get the pentagram for plus one damage. We're getting a lot of damage right now, and I'm okay with that. Yeah, it sucks that we haven't gotten a devil room. Or Angel Room. But uh, I'm pretty happy with her damage, so it's it's alright. And it also increases our chance for earning a Devil or Angel Room by 20%. So it's just an all-around nice item. Definitely going to go to the Curse Room. It's a little bit risky, but it's not a big deal. I will use one bomb, especially with another one right here, to open up that chest and hope no. So what's the health situation out here? I can't get to that. I have an eternal heart and we have a full heart in the boss room. Okay, I'm fine with this. We know where the secret room is now. Yeah, I'll just go to the secret room. Six more cents isn't quite enough to take us to the shop. And I will bomb my way out, since I'd rather not take the extra damage. And now we have a little bit more as far as recovery goes, total. So I'm good with how this went. I mean, again, it's never fun when you get uh, no devil room or angel room for the early parts of the game. But as Eve to get all this damage, I don't mind too much how that went. I think that we're in a pretty good place, especially, like not only do we have the damage, we have a little chubby, which is pretty sweet. So it's time to just take the eternal heart and get on our way. We sadly don't have enough to make the shop worthwhile, and this is the last shop that can't be greed. So we're losing that opportunity, but nothing I can do. We're just on the way to somewhere. Catacombs 2. Have we gotten all Wrath of the Lamb floors so far this run? We just took red heart damage on the floor immediately. No, we didn't. We had a soul heart. Okay, we've got a chance. I wouldn't count on it, though. We'll see. You never know. Okay, keepers, you're annoying and big jerks, especially when you cheat and get through gaps like that. Okay, just chillax, Mr. Keeper. There you go. Rusted key to increase the operative keys and golden chests. Magnet, don't want that, honestly. It's, I mean, it's not likely that I'll be breaking this run, but if I do, the magnet's a total negative. If on this floor, we see some good stuff that I can't get without the magnet, or flight, or something, then I'll take it. But I don't expect that I'll be taking it. So let's see what we've got in the library, since we're here. Book of Belial, Anarchist Cookbook, let's see. Let's use Guppy's Paw once, and then take the Book of Belial, which will also, just by holding it, increase our Devil Room chance by 25%. As long as we keep holding it for when we kill the boss. And beyond that, its active effect is plus two damage inside the formula, whereas Curved Horn is outside of the uh, formula. So I'm pretty cool with that. Definitely pretty cool with that. Good job, little chubby. You doing work. Be lickers, please. Or just kill yourself. That's fine, too. I'll accept it. I'll allow it. All right. With all these soul hearts, I'm going to go to the curse room. And if it happens to be the dead cat, I'll probably use all of my hearts to make soul hearts. Alright, we're going to go take Guppy's paw. 
Uh, we have to use it three times because it's going to give us one red heart. But actually what we're going to do is we're going to fight the boss first. Now the risk involved in this is that getting that from the red chest doesn't count as taking it from the devil room pool. So if we get a devil room that then contains dead cat, two dead cats does not count as two guppy items. So that would be a total loss. But having the soul hearts, okay, having the soul hearts actually makes me comfortable enough to be safe about this. And by safe, I mean not safe, really. But what we do is, like I said, we use Guppy's Paw on all three of our red hearts. We then take the dead cat, and we don't use it again. Although we could, it's just the fact that, um, okay, we use it all three times. The fact that having that one red heart would allow us to buy the um, Guppy's Tail, if we had that opportunity, and not lose all our soul hearts, makes it uh, totally worthwhile to keep. We are currently in Whore of Babylon state, but it's not uh, its not something that we're going to be keeping for now. So here we, uh, here we go. Take the dead cat, we now have nine lives, respawn with one red heart. And since actually it didn't fill that heart, we're still in Whore of Babylon, so never mind me. I forgot about that. We should definitely get a devil room on this floor. And I'm leaving these in case we get Guppy's head instead of uh, Guppy's tail and have to lose all our soul hearts so I can pick up those two soul hearts immediately. Oh look, it's the same way things went last time, except this time I'm much more powerful and have m much more health. I have no mulligan though. I'm also kind of too fast, thanks to Horde Babylon. But we're into the second phase, we only took like one hit. Again, if we don't get a devil room, I'm amazed and offended, and we get a tears up, which is nice. Guppy's tail, Guppy's tail, not Guppy's tail. Blow up the rock. No. Um. Hmm. Okay, let me think about this. Because of the dead cat, take. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. We take Spirit of the Night because we don't we lose all our soul hearts, yes, but we don't die. Then we have Flight and Spectral Tears, and then we take the Pact, which will kill us, but it'll give us the two soul hearts, and I think we'll respawn with them. And then we can go pick up the other two soul hearts, and we'll have that extra damage rate of fire. Yeah, let's do it. So now we die, and then... Okay, we don't respawn with them. I tried. I thought it might work. But it's still worth it, because there are the two soul hearts here. And yeah, now we can fly. That's nice, I guess. Um, Actually going to roll with Guppy's Paw. It's an interesting decision, but I think that it, it could definitely pay off for us. Book of Belial is nice and all, but with the extra 0.5 damage from the Pact, I'm a little less worried about things. I'm sad that we lost the two soul hearts. I didn't think we would, but I knew there was a chance. So here we go. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. Um, in hindsight, would I have made... Like, knowing what I know now, for sure, would I want to take... Okay, I can make the shop worthwhile, and I know you all want me to. Would I take those deals with the devil? Hmm... I could have the two soul hearts, four soul hearts, negative something health. Nah, I support my decision. I totally do. I think that it was the right choice. Yes, I lost a lot of soul hearts, but I think it's alright. So that was a 50% chance, like I said. Greed there. And that's okay, because as long as the next floor isn't an XL floor, we can't get greed again. So I'm, I'm good with that. Lost a half soul heart, but it's not the end of the world. Remember, with eight lives, Guppy's Paw at the start of each one isn't even a bad idea. So, all we need is a Devil Room, though. Or just another lucky Guppy item in a red chest. That's cool, too. Got a game freeze. I'm going to drink some water. Alright, here we are. 
And we get another game freeze, it looks like. Oh, that's pleasant. Guess we're going to wait again and hope it's not an XL floor. I really don't want it to be an XL floor because then we'll probably be fighting greed again in the shop. And that's just going to be terrible. Come on, give me, give me a normal floor. Normal old depths one. Normal old depths one. Necropolis one, that's good enough. Definitely going to play this dude, though. Could give me a health up, which is totally all I need. Here, Fawn, I'm going to hold on to that again in case I'm trading away my health for something. And then uh, would have that extra bit of health and recovery. Same with that, Soul Heart, if I can avoid picking it up on the way. I'm not going to use a bomb for it if I can... Okay, we made it, but I think on the way back through, we probably can't avoid picking it up. So we have to hope that we get the boss on this side. We don't uh, have the mom fight on this floor, so we can't get stuck in the boss room or anything. We're going to be able to leave after fighting it. So we don't have to worry about the whole needing a teleport thing. We don't need to go back before, if this is the right direction. So this is pretty much best case scenario, I guess. Assuming it's the right direction for the boss. Which, I guess, is about 50-50. Alright, and maybe it's the right direction for both the boss and the item room. That'd be even nicer now that we have a key. I was so confident, and I shouldn't have been, but I was, and this is the boss direction. It's amazing. So I want to keep my red heart, if possible, again, for the same reason. But even if I don't get to, I mean, dead cat means that I can pretty much just take deals with the devil with no care in the world. So it's a bloat, and that's not a huge deal. We're doing pretty good damage. Okay, there we go. We want to hang out down here so that when the bloat jumps, it gets into a really good position for us. So that we can just do all the damage in the world. I can't believe I let that hit me. Okay, so we still haven't taken red heart damage. That's what's important here. Okay. Um, no devil room. Well, that really sucks. We need curse room with either a guppy item or teleport now. Because yeah, the teleport from the curse room would just take us to the devil room. Okay. Actually was avoidable. And now that the red heart damage doesn't matter... May as well save the soul hearts for the end anyway. Okay, I thought I was going to get hit and then I didn't. That's totally fine. Now I just need to find both the item room and the shop, but I also need a key for the shop. Since I'll probably... I prefer the item room right now. Kind of want to be sticking with Guppy's Paw. So all the shop can offer us... I mean, yeah, there are things it can offer us, but it's not amazing. It's not worth my only key. I mean, of course, the item room might not give me anything either. But its potential benefits are greater, for sure. Flight and Spectral Tears really do make Masks and Hearts easier. I still don't support paying for it in normal circumstances, but it is paying health for it, that is. But it's not, it's not bad. It's really great to have. It's just not really worth health, because you never need it can play just as perfectly without it. So, eh. Like I said, I support the decision. But it's just, eh. So here's our shop. We have the keys. So I'm not going to wait. I'm just going to go right to the shop. And I really, I don't want a spacebar item in it. I don't want anything, but I guess uh, compass is good. Yeah, compass is good. All right, compass. Shows us the general location of all the icon rooms on the floor without showing us how to get to them. So we know what we know what's on this path now. Extra key and I'll totally use it on that chest cuz I can. Also have a tinted rock. We already have the small rock. So all we're getting from this is soul hearts, which just like the other one, I'll take at the end of the floor and I'll hang on to the Hierophant card just because I can. Again, kind of banking on the fact that there's going to be a devil room that I want to spend all my health on. So, onwards. Grab the soul heart. 
not going to go back for the sacrifice room even though I have invincibility that I can use on it from the my little unicorn not going to bother not going to do the challenge room either we're just going to hope for a teleport on the next floor to show up so that we can leave the boss room afterwards and get that devil room that we really desperately desire watch it be an angel room and not even a good one it would be disappointing but it happens library that's intriguing Probably not enough to make a difference now. So, I'm not going to worry too much about it. If I don't have an extra key, then I don't have an extra key. There's no mini boss on the floor, so Greed is in the, in the shop since we didn't fight Greed on the last floor. And knew that we couldn't fight Greed on the last floor. So, Greed definitely in the shop. And I mean that like 100% chance. Not like, oh, I'm pretty sure. No, I mean I'm 100% sure this time. Okay, give me a key drop. Make my day. That's not a key drop. Don't lie to me, Isaac. I know what you're on when you're on about. So I'm searching for a key, searching for a teleport. And that's my life. Still have this Hierophant card that I would love to have to make use of. And then teleport. There's no arcade or anything, although I totally had seven cents. There's yeah, seven cents, but I had five cents, which is all that matters. Coming into this floor and didn't get it. So I guess there's not the extra end room. Sadly. Shop. Again, shop does not, not appeal to me. No teleports. I really hope to get something. There's our key. It just didn't register for a second, and I was like, okay. So now we keep going. No, 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 no. We need to go to the item room. Let's see what we got. I'll totally go to the curse room as well. Since uh, I have the soul hearts. And with flight, you don't have to pay to go in just to get out. So the miter. That's pretty sweet. Going to give us an extra 50% chance that any non-specific heart drop is instead of soul heart drop. So that stacks with our base 10% and our inherent... Eve 1 in 16 chance, which is like 5% ish. It's not exactly 5%, it's like 6%. So, it's nice. We have a pretty good chance. We have well over 50. Close ish to 60. So, hard drops generally should be soul hearts, and that's nice. I'm just gonna take these this time. It's a little risky of a strategy, but. Okay, what are these pills? Health up. I like that. Tears up. I like that, too. I like the pills in this run. The pills in this run are really good. We have... Oh, the pretty fly was last run. But still, I'm pretty happy with those two. Health up, of course, gave us a heart. And tears up increased our rate of fire, which is excellent. We have a pretty good rate of fire already, just by virtue of having the pact and the wire coat hanger. But I don't think we were maxed, so I'm pretty happy to get more. Then again, we might be maxed. We are firing pretty quickly. Definitely pretty quickly, so maybe we are. Still not giving me what I need. I'm gonna keep playing you then. Keys, those are good to get. Uh, we haven't seen Book of Sin, so it might be worth it to go to the library, hope for Book of Sin, get a drop that's a card or a pill that teleport. Well, I, I don't know a telepills yet, so I, it needs to be a card that teleports us. Most preferably. Don't do this to me. You know you want to just give me the teleport. It is looking less and less likely that if we do get a double room, we'll get... Um, we won't have to pay all of our health, except in a couple situations. So I'm not super worried. I think we're in a good position as far as that's concerned. Let's see what we've got in our library. Can you do exactly what I needed you to? No, you cannot. Book of Revelations will guarantee us a horseman normally, but we're already, we've are already we got a set boss on this floor, so we can't get a horseman. Gave us a soul heart, though. And I'm not going to stick with it over Guppy's paw, because I don't like it. Have the miter, so it's good enough. And if it's not good enough, I'm okay with that, because I'm here to play for fun, not playing to win. And, yeah, the Book of Revelations would help me win for sure. Oh, what have I done? Alright, you're getting blown up, and I'm going to hope for money. One cent. Can you do it, beggar? Can you do it? 
No, is the answer. All right, I'll definitely look into this. And by look into this, I mean play it extensively. Because we get money for our health, and we also get the chance at a blood bag for another health up. Or the IV bag, which, more money. Now we activate Horror of Babylon, we have a little bit of extra invincibility here, so we can play it a couple more times. Nine cents should get it to pay out. We only have to pay six more at maximum to get it to pay out the first time, and five cents each time after that maximum. All right, I like keys, but I like teleports more. Can you do it, Mr. Beggar? Pretty please? Steam sale, not even gonna pick that up. Not even good to have. No flight for a room. Hmm. What can I do? I can't do anything. I can look for the secret room. Two good locations for that. And hope. That's all I can do. I can hope. 99 bombs is cool to have. Pyro? I, I mean, alright. It's sort of a trade-off that I guess I'm okay with, but it's not what I was looking for. We still have another chance for a devil room on the next floor, though. So at least there's that. But the thing is, if we earn a devil room here, and even if we don't get to see it, because we don't get to leave the doors, we still have the issue of our chance being multiplied by 0.25. Quite sadly, I must add. No orbitals kind of sucks. Since we have no way of blocking these tiers, we just have to be able to react and dodge. Not always a guarantee, depending on which door shoots at us. But the Red Mom's an easy fight. That is a shot speed up, and I'm not going to take it. It's a health up, and I don't need it. So we just dropped two damage by losing that curved horn, sadly. But at least we have Polar Invincibility on every hit. We have Horror of Babylon active. We have a pretty good rate of fire. We have pretty good damage. Curse of Labyrinth is the only bad thing that could have happened here. And it did. So now our Devil Room chance doesn't matter. And uh, you might wonder why. And it's because since this has both bosses, we have the issue where uh, <laughs> we get the Devil Room after the second boss. So this counts as the second floor of the two. And that means that the Devil Room or Angel Room is just a trap door to shoal. So we can't get the item we need from it. And all we've been is screwed, so I may as well use the Here Font now. I'm going to the Curse Room, by the way, because that's the last huzzah for our whole plan and hope here. Of course, without becoming Guppy, we still have a chance. This is a pretty reasonable run. I've just, it's been so long, and I need to become Guppy one day. Just, it's pleasing, it's a ton of fun. And yeah, I could kill the blue envies last so that I could get the attack fly instead of shoop de whoop. I'm not going to focus fire. I'm not going to focus on it. I'm not going to worry about it. If it happens, it happens, but double envy is annoying. At least I have the flight and spectral tears to make this so easy. So, uh, you know, it looks reasonable actually, since there is a big blue head instead of just some tiny ones. There we go. We don't even have to get it, but we might. Yeah, we didn't. That's okay. I don't want that half red heart, but it looks like I have to get it unless I do this. Leave the room, come back for the bigger blast radius, get out of the way, and there we go. Let's just walk you onto the spikes. Keys are good. 98 bombs. Was bombs or key a pill in this run, or was that the last run? I don't know. But apparently, keys just want to drop all non-stop now. Which is also acceptable. Okay, get out of the way. I almost didn't get out of the way. Then I did. Great story, I know. Okay, back to 99 bombs. Thank God, right? Challenge room might be interesting. That's pretty much the thought I'm gathering at the moment. It might be interesting. Chances are I don't want any part in it. Curse room is still the objective. Soul Hearts, again, always helpful. Um, let's see. You can't reach me here, but Little Chubby will reach you. Like I said. Skeleton Key. All right, you, I said you wouldn't interest me, and then you did. So now we have 99 keys. That's pretty good, and I'm happy with that. 
If this path loops around and it would have been shorter to go the other way to get to the curse room, I'm gonna be a little bit upset, but at the same time, it's not a huge deal. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be kind of upset, but not that upset. I still have 99 keys, and as long as I can make it to the chest, these will come in handy. At least a little bit. Especially if I can find myself with Guppy's tail, then they'll be incredibly useful. So after... At some point soon, I'm gonna use Guppy's paw fully, get these nine soul hearts, and lose that ability to lose horror invincibility, because I won't have any red hearts to mess up with it. So let's see what's in the curse room. It's totally gonna loop. Would have been like four rooms instead of like ten. That's unfortunate. Oops. It's okay, we have nine more soul hearts than we're letting on, which is a lot. That's 45 seconds of invincibility total. Okay, what do you got for me? Darn it. <laughs> Darn it, why would you do that? That's not the item we need, and we don't have a D6. You're just such a tease game. Yep, looped. And this wasn't even a fighting room. Well, Isaac, you've done it. You've made me feel silly. What can I say? On... I think this is the boss direction, at least. God, we're so close to being guppy in it. I mean, it's still possible, but I just wouldn't count on it. Really? Really, you don't say. You don't say that that's not, this isn't the right direction. I'm surprised, to say the least. Okay, we could get a health up and full health here, which of course means that that accelerates the process of uh, using Guppy's paw. We didn't, so it didn't accelerate. That's so annoying that that wasn't the right direction. Especially if this is the right direction from here, and it totally is gonna be. This game, this game is a big troll. It is not even a little troll, it is a big, big troll. Eh, we're having an adventure. We've probably gone even at the worst, maybe even come out ahead, as far as health is concerned, so I guess. I can't complain. I mean, there's nothing to complain about it with this run, except that, oh, I'm not Guppy, what a catastrophe. Guppy's not, like, saving this run like it was saving the other one. Eh, well, let's find out. Bad gas. I was thinking for some reason that I was still holding the here font, and I was like, oh no, where'd my card go? I didn't use it. And I was like, no, I'm not actually holding on to anything. Silly. All these soul hearts just because of our miter, basically. I don't want to speed up more than fast enough. First boss, the bloat again. That's nice. That can totally happen, though, so it's not like, oh, the game's trying to screw me over because this isn't supposed to happen. No, it's totally able to happen. No worries. It's the champion this time, so that's a little bit annoying. But I can deal. The bloat's a fair boss. What? Why would you do this to me? Okay. Yeah, bloat is 100% fair. Okay, no. Let's not. Stay out of the way. And this should do it. What drop do we get from it? Pageant boy, seven coins. Well, I don't know what we would have done without that. Alright, so on this fight, shouldn't be a problem, especially with 99 bombs. And we do have good damage and good rate of fire for Eve. We have, well, good rate of fire as general, but good damage for Eve. So all we gotta do is just keep placing the bombs and running on through. Monstro shouldn't be too difficult. None of this fight should be difficult, basically. And again, I do want to hold out as long as possible on Guppy's Paw. Because we can still get a teleport or something from the next floor curse room in the cathedral. We could also not. We could just get something for free in the curse room and then it doesn't even matter. But I'm just being safe about it. I'm going to play this as close as possible. Waste as little as possible. Because I wouldn't want to lose these soul hearts after having a good opportunity as far as double rooms are concerned. Of course we've like not seen a double room soul run. 
and then we get one. So, I mean, we couldn't earn one next floor anyway, so it's uh, not actually important that we earn one now. The only way to get to one on the next floor would be by teleporting in. So it's totally okay with me. It's just, of course, right? Well, let's hope the cursed room is in the same direction as the boss, which is hopefully this way. As long as I find one of the two, it's okay in my books. Ugh, triple horseless headman. It's terrible. Got hit twice. I have no orbitals still, which is actually astounding. That doesn't usually happen. But I guess that's my life, and I will live it. See, a room like this, you normally actually expect to have a tinted rock. It's so much... I don't know if it's more likely than not, but it's so very likely, pretty much. Oh well, it didn't. So there's no complaining to be had. Can't expect tinted rocks, you can just hope for them. In here we have the virus, that's really good. What do we have in our curse room? That's what I want to find out. And then we're definitely going to take the virus. It's just, uh... If we don't get the teleport here, yes, there's a chance of the Joker, but I'm not going to take it. I'm just going to go Guppy's Paw. But you can do it, game. You can do it right now. Redeem yourself. Ah, you're a jerk. Okay, so... Take all three of these... Definitely taking Poison Touch, because it's when we come into contact with an enemy, we do significant damage and then poison them for damage over time, if they live, which most enemies won't, bosses will. And with paired with Polaroid Invincibility, that's a lot of extra damage every time we get hit, that we can just run into stuff at no cost and do lots of damage and poison. It's a great combination that I'm a fan of. Oh, almost got myself hit there. That would have been far from preferable. Last one is just double monster. That's not too bad at all. We can manage this. One's gonna die shortly. Because we've been focusing, yeah, pretty much on that one. And then this one goes right on down as well now. Yeah. Another key. We could go really hard with bombs since we have so many. So I might do that. A little bit of a more bomb focused Isaac fight. That's okay. Because if we're using bombs more exclusively, then Isaac won't be shooting at us as much, which is pretty nice because we have no orbitals, if you've forgotten. Bad gas. Well, I may as well take it. Get some poison damage on Isaac. And then every time we get hit, we run in there with our uh, poison touch. We've got a good system for this. I think that this fight's going to go fine. Then it's all about what does the chest want to give us. And uh, I can think of at least one Eve run where I, <laughs> I had exactly two keys going into the chest, no chance of victory, and then the two chests gave me technology and polyphemus. And I was like, yeah, that just happened. You know, nonchalant and whatnot. It was crazy, though. It was a ton of, it was a ton of fun. It was an awesome run. I'm a big fan of what went down. Okay, I may as well shoot at this point. Okay, and then we get out of here. Bad gas it up. Get some in there. Oh yeah, dead bird. Gonna cause Isaac to shoot at us a little more. I'd forgotten. Alright, so like I said, bomb focused. Less shooting, less damage. And all we have to do is a few loops. Alright. And we get through there, and then we run. Okay, with the homing tears, I don't really want to do the same thing. But I'm doing it anyway. So we can see our health. That's not good. Let me get away. Oh, you hit me again. Alright. That's a full kamikaze approach then. He says his men backs off. <laughs> oh well. Close enough. We got a soul heart back. We're ready to go. Mini boss, but that's not a big deal. Alright. Scapular is good, at least. Infestation I'm not a huge fan of right now, but I don't want the bomb bag or the sack of pennies. Neither of them are useful. And if we happen to find the relic, and it, I mean, it's not going to be useful even if we do, but on principle, I don't take dropping familiars besides the relic, since having more than one dropping familiar decreases their drop rate so significantly that it's just not good. So getting less soul hearts from the relic 
is not an appealing thing. So we're still one item from Guppy, and it's pretty much not happening. Just it pretty much is not happening. There's not much I can do about it. Pure luck is the only way to get to the double room right now. Okay, another scent. I'm not going to clear this chest because this run is not not one of those runs. And most runs are those runs, but Eve runs, they're just like, take your victory, man. Is this the right way? This is actually looking like the right way. So we don't want to kill Lust last. There's no good reason to. We already have its drop. Poison Touch, that is. And most preferably, we kill Gluttony last for the chance at heart so that we have something to use Guppy's Paw on and get three more Soul Hearts. And I don't pick it up until right before the boss fight because we could get another one. And then that's three more Soul Hearts, which translates to 15 more seconds of invincibility. It's quite good. Scapular, by the way, if we would die, since we only have Soul Hearts right now, if we would die, we get another Soul Heart. So it's just like plus one health. And that's pretty cool. We'll definitely use the Strength card in the boss fight because that's a 1.5 times damage multiplier. It's all stats up for a room. It's a magic mushroom. So that's nice. And then I can just use Guppy's Paw on it, and we would technically at that point be at negative one health. Not a big deal though, because uh, I'm not even gonna be worrying about health for a bit. Okay, I need to just unload some poison on you guys. Well, actually gals, they are queens. When you think about it. All right, let's just fight the boss. Strategy is strength, and then that, and then damage. Get this in here. Strength is still speed up, as all and all stats up. So, what can you do? Yeah, I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage. I'm gonna tank it. I think that this fight is very winnable, even just tanking all the damage in the world. So that's the strategy this time. And any Eve chest victory is relatively impressive. I'm happy with it. Uh, I wanted to be Guppy, and I still want to be Guppy. Oh my god, that was an hour, but I did die. So really, you can take off 17 minutes. I think it was 17 minutes. Approximately. And then that's a more accurate look at how long this run was. It was kind of quick for me. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the run. Uh, sorry, there won't be Mirror Match tomorrow. I meant to mention that earlier but I haven't had time to talk to anyone. I haven't had time for like a couple weeks to really even think about Mirror Match. I'm sorry about that, but it will return. There will be at least a few new guests coming up. And then at some point soon, it'll be time to look at uh, bringing back the old guests for a season two type thing. But for now, that's not something to worry about because I've still got new people to talk to. So like I said, I hope you enjoyed that run. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.